Today's gonna be the start of a mini series I'm making mainly for my girlfriend, but it will help anybody who's new and wants to learn Roblox Studio. We're gonna be going over everything from the super basics to anything that you might need to make your first Roblox game, at least build-wise. Now, before you get into this series, you will need a Roblox account and you will need to download Roblox Studio. Once you make an account, you'll be greeted with this page right here. You will just click on create and then you'll probably see something that says download Studio, but I have launched studio. Once you launch studio, you'll be greeted with this screen, which might look a little daunting, but not nearly as much as the next one. Roblox offers a lot of starter places. Say you want a village, a castle, suburban, pirate island, etc. You can open these and already have something built, but we want to actually learn the program and start from scratch, so we're going to click baseplate. It will open all of this, which might look confusing at first, but this series will teach you everything you're going to need to know about all of this you see on your screen. I'm going to keep all of these videos super short and to the point, so anyone that's new to Studio can pick it up quickly and not have to go through a 20 hour course. To break things up, for this first video, we're going to do four parts. Number one is sort of our game area. This whole screen right here is the world that you will be building. And right now we have a spawn pad where your player will spawn if you click play, and a base plate where we could build on top of, so our whole map and assets are not just in the air. Up here we have a whole slew of tools and multiple tabs with multiple tools inside each one. We'll get into it. Right here is our explorer. This is where everything inside our game is housed. Anything we put into this area, this is where we visually see it, and this is where it's stored. And then down here is called properties. These are once again multiple settings for anything you click on inside of the explorer. But that is the very basic gist of Roblox Studio. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we go more in depth on certain tools.